He finally got him. I can't believe it. He was dominant. We have so we have so much to talk about. Welcome to the show. Take your time out. Like the video. Subscribe. We're going to get you some highlights. Um, Alex Pereira has got a fifth round, final round stoppage over Israel Sanya to become the new fast tracked 185 pound UFC champion of the world. And he and he finally got close and finished him this off. This fight replay is brought to you by We're gonna Sweet watch it. Sweat. Check out their website, sportsresearch.com. So Izzy's against the cage. He pops him with a jab. The, oh, right, the right hand. Yeah, it was the right hand. It stung him a little bit. Oh, and then the, the uppercut. Cut. The uppercut stung him. Oh, That's the left that hook. One, the left hook one. again. And then another one. Oh, and then my that right goodness. hand. He was He's out on his feet. There. And then again. No. I he mean, was out he, on he his feet. Bad. You could have stopped this a long time ago. Mark Goddard gave him a ton of time. He gave him all the time, but look, he's not even looking. Oh, my goodness. Adesanya, oh my though, goodness. with an immediate protest. Yeah, I, I mean, he's a champion. I can see Ooh. why he's oh my protesting. Goodness. Joe, look how man. short that hook is. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at how short that left hook that is. That power is beautiful. This dude is crazy. Look, there's no doubt he was in deep, deep trouble. Could you make the argument that you should put the champ out? Maybe. Oh, my goodness. But the way he's moving, it looked like he was gone. Look at Glover. He was sleep on his feet. So let me tell you, I got my notes here. Asanya was pretty much dominating the fight. However, it was always like that feeling of doom. You know, that like, listen, if Pereira gets close, you know, and he was doing a good job keeping him at distance. But he got a second win in the fifth round and he caught him. He let him get too close. But no matter what, like, dude is good. Like, Izzy is fucking good. You know, and he showed some different um, sides to his game in the grappling and actually looking at some points to be, well, he did get knocked out. But in the clinch, the stronger of the two fighters. So, good. I'm glad we got some, some excitement in the division. Tremendous. Let's listen to the particulars. Right, one final time tonight. Here's Bruce I'm still in Buffett. shock. Because Ladies he was losing bad. Referee Mark Goddard has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, one second of the fifth round. Declaring the winner by TKO and new UFC undisputed middleweight champion of the world, Alex Poetan Pare. I mean, you can't say I me. Mean, yeah, he was fast tracked, but he did win. And he beat him again. Stopped him twice in two or three fights. A new champion, ladies and gentlemen, Alex Pajera. Pajera. Alex, a tremendous, tremendous fight and an incredibly quick rise to the title. In your fifth fight ever in MMA, you are now the undisputed middleweight champion. How good does this feel? Foi uma ascensão tremenda, parabéns, parabéns Alex Portan. Pô, na sua terceira do UFC, sétima luta do MMA, campeão mundial, como é que se sente? Eu me sinto muito bem, muito feliz. Já estava escrito, eu sabia que eu ia ser campeão. Eu sou um cara humilde, um cara que fala pouco. Da forma que eu fiz, algumas pessoas não gostaram. Eu peço desculpa, mas foi de uma forma saudável. Foi história, uma, uma parte da história que eu vim postando e algumas pessoas acharam que era provocação, mas não foi. Agradeço todo mundo aí pela torcida. I feel so good. Been training all my life. I worked so hard for this. It was written. Sorry for everybody that I had to post some stuff. Do a little bit of trash talk this time, but I was healthy. But I had to get on his head to get on this fight. This was a very good fight up until the last round. And let's take a look at it. You caught him and tagged him with the right hand, you had him hurt, and then you got him up against the octagon and landed this left hook. And from there, he was in deep, deep trouble. 
Fala pra gente aí, pô, foi uma luta dura e você aceitou aquela esquerda e dali já tava em vários problemas ali. Bom, eu vim treinando, treinei duro pra essa luta, foi como o Gogo vinha falando, eu dentro do meu camp eu não fiz três rounds, eu vinha fazendo só quatro ou cinco rounds. Eu falo pra você, eu tive uma luta diária, a minha equipe é embaçada, vou falar pra você, era uma luta difícil, difícil a cada dia, hoje foi muito difícil também, muitas pessoas desacreditaram, falando que eu não poderia fazer cinco rounds, eu fiz cinco rounds muito bem, eu tô pronto pra próxima. Well. It was a very hard fight, but just like what they say, I was going through a fight every day at the gym. I was going through five rounds all the time. For everybody that said they couldn't do five rounds, look what I just did right now. I'm ready for the next. Well, what's even more incredible is that this is only your fifth MMA fight. You're only going to get better at MMA. So congratulations on becoming the new UFC champion. Well, parabéns, você tem cinco, sete minutos só de MMA e já é campeão mundial. Então espero o futuro para você. Parabéns o de campeão médio do UFC. Muito obrigado, muito, muito obrigado para todos que estão torcendo por mim. Muito obrigado você que sempre vem falando bem de mim em todas as entrevistas. Você é um cara que entende da arte marcial e fala a verdade. Thank you everybody that's been supporting my work. Thank you Joe Rogan that since the beginning believed in me and I was always say good stuff about my work and I know you know the job. It was an honor to call your fight, sir. Congratulations. The new UFC middleweight champion of the world. We know they're doing a rematch. Ahera. An incredible rise hey, to the UFC yeah. superstardom. And we know they're doing a rematch. Did Izzy leave the ring? Dag, he left the octagon. At the end of the fourth round, he was trying to come on. Izzy clinched him. And then in the fifth round, his corner told him exactly what he needed to hear. And he went out and he got the job done. I mean, congrats to the new champion. Uh, you know, Joe and I were saying, is this a record? And it's a silver one in the second fight. So. Dag, Izzy left the ring. I mean, the uh, octagon. So let me tell you, that's probably one of the best UFC pay-per-views I've seen. Probably like ever. And I know it's late. It's uh, one at one o'clock in the morning here in the East Coast. But I really thoroughly enjoyed that card. Um... Wei Li, uh, Carla, that was I'm excited as long as it lasted. Um, Dustin Poirier, Michael Chandler, that was a classic. Frankie Edgar and uh, Dominic Reyes got sent to hell. You know, overall, um, um, Ronaldo gave Ronaldo gave one of the biggest, best post fight fucking cussing up a storm post fight interviews you can possibly ever have. By the way. I am on UFC 4, a multiple-time UFC online champion at T-Street Controversy on uh, PS5. That's my PSN. But, yeah, you know they're going to do the rematch for this because I was saying, you know, like, pretty, like, I can say, honestly, it was looking like for my scorecard, I gave number, I gave round number one to Izzy, but it kind of could have get, could have went either way, except that he hurt AP at the very end of the round and almost dropped him. If the round would have went on, if the round would have went on, you know, I would say probably five seconds more, it could have possibly been a stoppage by Izzy, but he made it into the second round. The round number two was, you know, somewhat of a toss up. If anything, you could probably go for um, a Pereira to give him that round. Round number three is when for the first time, you know, from that I can remember, you actually seen like some really, really good wrestling from Izzy. I'm talking about the clinch, and the clinch actually tired out Pereira. You know, and some wrestling, even the takedowns. But round number four, you know, kept it in the middle of the ring, you know, and then it was delayed kicks again. But then round number five, like I thought like, up, oh, Izzy's going to cruise to another victory. But you did see that Pereira was coming on a little bit more and basically getting a little more aggressive. And Izzy, he got caught. Now, one thing you've noticed throughout the whole fight, though, is that every time that AP got close, you would be looking like, yo, you know, like, Izzy, get out of there. Get out of there. And sometimes he would try to grab him, grab him at the wrist to push him off a little bit. But this time he got caught. He got caught. And this was the one that took his head off. Let me play it right here. You see him coming in? Like, he didn't get out of there quick enough. Took his fucking head off right there. And it was over then. It was over, then he never recovered. And it was one, it was one that's going to chop down on him. I think it's this one right here that's going to chop down. 
Like he never could look. He was oh look, you can see he's clearly out. Like out on his fucking feet. But great, like fight. Great fight. And one thing you can say from Izzy, he can beat him. But he just lost to this dude two or three times. The first fight, you know, they fought back in 2016. Um, I didn't get a chance to see that, but it was unanimous decision. Izzy was saying in the uh, in some uh, build up content, you know, that, you know, people thought that he won that fight. Second fight in 2017 in Brazil, he got knocked out. That was that um, uh, kick. And now here in the UFC, he gets his ass, you know, like, he, you know, he was winning the fight. So, you know, I'm guessing, you know, they're going to go for the immediate rematch. And now that the division is spiced up, you know, then the um, winner um, whatever's happening with the guys at 170 pounds between Leon Edwards and I don't know if Usman and uh, Izzy would ever fight, but some of them guys, it's about time for them to move up because when it comes to Whitaker, Cannoneer, uh, Vittori, um, who else am I missing? Um, Whitaker, Cannoneer, Vittori, who, am I, who else am I missing? Like, you know, like, you know, the, the, even why Robert Whitaker said it, you know, to him, himself to a certain extent is that people really don't want to see them guys anymore. Costa. You know, but overall, shout out to motherfucking, you know, I mean, he was looking real suspect out there, you know, and looking like he gassed out. But at the end of the day, he did what people thought he was going to be able to do. And that's stopping Israel Adesanya. Take your time out. Like the video. Subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at T Street Controversy and see you at two, uh, UFC uh, 282. Oh, and by the way, this is probably going to be, um, if not my last closer to my, my last um combat sports boxing combat sports boxing mma content on this channel it's going to be moving over to my channel fight view 360 which i'm going to be um putting the link down below in the uh, comments if you want to subscribe we're going to be doing live fight night streams of select ufc events my podcast is going to be also on that channel for boxing and mma and we're going to be streaming during um boxing events as well so once again, thank you for watching. See you guys later. Please subscribe. Drop a like before you go. It doesn't hurt anybody. Or you can dislike the video. I see those too.